Hey, buddy, I think we're going to pick. All right. Thanks, man. Where they go on their board because there's a lot of ways Hello. to go. Jeffrey. Yes, sir. Hi. John Robinson with the Tennessee Titans. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm going to be doing better here in a little bit. We're about to make you a Titan. Yes, sir. And um, I tell you, you've had a lot of people in your corner, and um, we're really excited to add you. You're ready to come in here and help this defense, all right? Yes, sir, I will. I only know to feel. I know you will. I know you will. I believe in you. You got a lot of people that believe in you. Yes, sir. I'm going to hand the phone to our owner, Miss Amy. Congratulations. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. We're so happy to welcome you as a Titan. I'm glad to be a Titan. Oh, for sure. And we'll, we'll get you in here tomorrow, and we're all looking forward to seeing you. Yes, ma'am. I'm looking forward to meeting you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Big Jeff. Yes, sir. You can celebrate with your family now, man. And enjoy the night, and we will see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Can't wait to get up there. See you, big fella. I'll see you. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> the moment that phone rung, I was like, yes, this is like finally the moment that we all been waiting for. And when he hung up the phone, he just broke down crying. We all stood up and, you know, we waited for them to make that announcement that he was the 19th pick, you know, with the Tennessee Titans. With the 19th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Jeffrey Simmons, defensive tackle, Mississippi State. I gotta tell you, man, that, that, that moment right there, and to watch his mother and Jeffrey embrace, and his brother and his sister, and his, his Nieces and nephews, it was just, uh, man, it was a cool moment. I told him, you know, you made it. Don't stop now. Keep going. Keep fighting. He said, Coach, we did it. And that made me feel good. He said, we, you know, he said, we did it. He made sure that everybody in there knew that we did it. I just didn't do it by myself. I was a proud coach that night, and to see him uh, live out his dream. I'm very proud of Jeffrey. Proud would be an understatement to me. I, I don't think I even tell him enough that I'm proud of him. So what it was like when you got that call from J-Rod? Man, just sitting there on that draft day, man, it was like that whole process was kind of stressful. Yeah. I got, I got to calm down a little yeah. bit, but you know, I was getting ready. My mom was like, um, you good? And I, I was like, man, I'm good. Everything was going through my mind. I was like, okay, time winding down. And I was sitting there, you know, I get a, a call from, it was a um, Tennessee number. Yeah. I was like, Tennessee? He was like, Jeffrey, just um, J-Rod with the Tennessee Titan. Man, when I say it's like, my dreams finally come true and um, couldn't be more excited to be part of the Tennessee Titans. And, from that day forward, man, it was just eyes front, you know, head high, just, you know, moving forward, you know, trying to be the best I could be, especially for the Tennessee Titans. Yeah. I know, man, I know you was going through that mindset, especially just knowing it's draft day. Wow. You know, what was going through your mind? So, the funny thing is, uh, Tennessee actually told me they were going to take a, take a receiver in the first round. And they ain't up taking you, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, uh, everybody had passed on me. Everybody had passed on me, so. You know, uh, should they regret that now, though? Man, I still, I still, I still carry that chip on my shoulder, bro. Yeah, Cause yeah. I woke up the next day hungry, man. I went and worked out in the morning mm -hmm. just to get my mind off of it, and 
But then the, the second day, I was just I was just chilling with the fam. I was just I didn't even watch it. You know, I start I stopped watching. I was just in the yard playing with my little nephew, throwing the football, and I got the call from J. Rob, and right. I remember telling Bray, you know, what I'm saying I'm doing good, and Bray was like, Nah, you're doing great. You know, what I'm yeah. saying I told him I told him from day one, like I'm trying to be great, and I'm still I'm still today like still trying to do the same thing. I'm still trying to be great, and, and yeah, sure. it's just a feeling that you can't. You can't explain, like your family's there, everybody supports you there. And mm -hmm. It was like all the emotions came at once, like everything you worked for as a child, just chills, man. It, it was just like a dream, man. I already know, I know that feeling. Yeah. Hello? AJ. This is John Robinson with the Tennessee Titans. You remember me? Yes, sir. And we're about to make you a Tennessee Titan, buddy. That sounds great to me. AJ. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. How are you? I'm good. No, you're not good anymore. I'm great. I'm doing great. If you say good, when you get here, you, you ain't good anymore. Yes, sir. I'm trying to be great. <laughs> I know you are. Just remember, get open and catch the ball. Oh, okay. AJ. AJ. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll see you here in a couple weeks, and um, you're ready to ride. Congratulations, buddy. Proud for you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Patience. Patience. Look. It's all right. Proud of you. Proud of you, Thank you. Thank you. With the 51st pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select A.J. Brown, wide receiver, Ole Miss. The first round didn't happen. However, the second night, we got the call. Tremendously happy, man. He was, you know, excited. We were all excited. He was just glad that, you know, it was, it was time now. He could exhale. Let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do it. Oh. He finally could exhale, say, I know exactly where I'm going, I know who I'm playing. Now let's get busy, I'm ready to go. <laughs> you did it. You did that right. <laughs> hey, now we make a save, right? I'm on death. Ready up. Ready up. <laughs> Thinking back on it, like, yeah. we played against each other, Little League, high school, college, now. Now we teammates. And we teammates, and that, you know, it was all crazy. You know, now they saying we got two guys from Mississippi, yeah. you know, on the same team, but you know, I was, couldn't be more proud to be a teammate, man, especially coming out there every Sunday, getting sure. to watch you play, man. You just, you know, one of the best, you know, in my eyes in the league, and, you know, just being able to see, it's, it's fun to watch, bro, so. And likewise, bro, same, same. And now we, we teammates, we teammates. Ooh, Jeffrey's best trait, he cares. He cares about everything that he's doing. When the helmet's on, he cares about what's happening between the white lines. When the helmet's off, he cares about everything around him. He cares deeply about his community. Jeffrey's camp, I can remember when he first told me he wanted to do it. We never had that going. We never had an NFL guy come to Little Old, Knoxville County, Starksville, and have a camp so we could attend it, especially a free camp so we can attend it. You gonna beat me? Come on, come on, come on, we're going that way. Come on, come on. I saw how excited the kids was. One kid came to me, man, I've been waiting all year for this. I missed it last year because I was out of town. What he doing is tremendous. He, he changing the culture of where he came from. So it's really not just focused on football. It's kind of like more of like a day of mentoring of, of younger and older kids. He's really doing it out of his heart. He really want to see these young men be better and not be a product of their environment. And for him to put his foot on the ground and go into these places, his hometown, and start there, and changing the culture, man, I'm extremely proud of it. Work on three, one, two, three. Work. Come on, run with us. We're gonna walk, come on. Not only is he a superstar, not only is he an NFL player, but he's still a normal person. And he lets you know, hey, no matter where I am, no matter where I go, I'm, I'm from there, and that will always be where my heart is. The 
the people here and all of our kids really look up to Jeffrey simply because of the person that he is. He has a heart for the community, a heart for the children, and I am so proud of him for that. He has a heart of gold, heart of gold. I've never met a human being that could be as gentle and kind and just almost mild-mannered off the field. And then when the helmet comes on, he completely changes into an absolutely different human being. Think of it this way. As a quarterback, when the pocket begins to break down around you, the escape route is always, I can step up. I can find a way to avoid a loss. Unless you're playing against a guy like Jeffrey Simmons because Jeffrey is so strong, so imposing, so dominant, that he pushes the middle of that pocket back in. And now there's a whole nother level of stress as a quarterback that you have to deal with. Titans blitzing, here they come. Rivers in trouble. Sack! Big Jeff! <laughs> AJ's first two years in the NFL came as no surprise to any Ole Miss fan because we knew what he was capable of. When it's third down and you have to have that tough catch, he's a guy that's going to compete at the highest level against anybody. He never backs down. He's never scared of that challenge. Texans set to rush four. He drops. Tannehill looks. He throws deep downfield, going for AJ Brown. He's got it! AJ Brown makes the catch yes! inside yes! the 25. A.J. Brown was a ready-made superstar the minute he stepped on campus in college, and he was a ready-made superstar the minute he stepped on the field in the NFL. You can come from rural Mississippi, from a town, due respect, that's the size of this room we're sitting in, and you can make it anywhere, playing on the biggest football stage in the world. That's a great story. It's just amazing how two kids grew up 30 minutes down the road, uh, rival schools, was enemies on the football field on Friday nights, but now I'm living a dream, playing in the NFL, now playing on the same team. I just love watching the Titans play. Brown makes the catch at the 10, spinning, driving his way into the end zone. Wow! How did he do it? I find it incredibly poetic in a way because you had two guys 30 minutes from each other, Jeffrey in Knoxville County in Macon, Mississippi. You had A.J. Brown at Starkville High School in Starkville, Mississippi. Rivalries constantly setting the bar against each other. Jeffrey goes to Mississippi State, A.J. goes to Ole Miss, and there isn't a rivalry, I believe, in college football that's that intense. And now, people can root for A.J. Brown and Jeffrey Simmons on the same team. You can't ask for a better story. All those games they played against each other and all the time they've spent talking trash against each other for the opposing team, it's just built a respect between those two. They know how hard each other works. And the Titans, they just really struck gold. They got two guys of character, first and foremost, but you also got two guys that are just elite gamers, and they've proven it. Oh my goodness! Big Jeff! He whipped him! Going for Brown! Hey, Jeff Brown! Let's go! And just thinking about this season, man, I think we got a shot to hold that Lombardi up. Man, you know, every game is different. None of us really know who's going to win, no matter what, what game plan we go into the game. But, man, we key in and we do what we're supposed to do. We lock in, we play ball, stay focused, don't get the big head. Hey, anything is possible. So, you know, that's what we that's what we chasing each and every day. So, just like I'm about to chase this win right here. <laughs> A ball, corner pocket. <laughs> 